Because Ruby believes in objects so strongly and the protection and encapsulation that object-oriented programming provides, one of the things that it does not allow is direct access to any instance variables. In other words, you can't uh, do something like um, this where you would create a variable and set it to some value and then go ahead and do uh, we'll look something like we did before and then access it with v dot at variable this line is not allowable because you're trying to get inside of the class implementation and, and that's not allowed but oftentimes we do want access to variables within our class and in programming languages like C++ and in Java if you set a variable to be public that's exactly how you access them you, you, <clears throat> you do this and you make variable public and that means everyone can access it and the, it's not the same in uh, Ruby at all so let me go ahead and <coughs> show how we can create what are called getters and and setters uh, we'll we'll do it verbosely here to s start off with so we're going to use one instance variable here to to demonstrate this and we're going to do this in, in a number of different ways and simply if we want to give access to a variable we just create a method and return the value of that variable in that method. This is a getter because we get the value of the variable. Remember this is implicitly doing this. So uh, because this doesn't have an at sign on it, this is a method, this ha does have an at sign, this is an instance variable, and this method returns the value of its named value. So we can uh, do something like this now. Let's put S in there. And what this does is this calls the variable method on our V object. Our variable method is going to return the value of our variable instance variable. And we're going to return that to our put S and we're going to print it out. So it looks like to a programmer who, who doesn't see our class implementation, this line looks like any other object-oriented programming language, but we set its visibility by defining or not defining this method right here. So that's our, our getter. Similarly, there is a setter, and the setter is defined to have this extra equal sign here indicating that you're going to pass it a value so you do something like this and now we know that we want to set our variable to this new value right here and it is going to be set as at variable equals new value and what that will do then is that will store our new value that's passed into this value variable um, method and store it in our instance variable here and this looks very similar v dot variable and this is cool you don't have to put the equals next to it Ruby is smart enough that if you put white space between the name and the equal sign that it will squish them together for the actual thing and we can set this to something else so let's set it equal to seven and display this value right here. So let, let's try that first here. Go here, set the executability of this, and go ahead and run it. And we can see that we initialized it to something, we printed out the something, but then we changed this value to seven, and now we report a, a new value here. And so this is how you create getters. This is how you create setters in general 
in Ruby. But this is such a common pattern, an incredibly common pattern, that Ruby provides a more succinct way of doing that. So let's write that here. This will be our succinct class. And what we will do here is we're going to give it the same constructor. So we set variable the value. But now, instead of writing our getter and setter, we're going to write one line of code called adder accessor. And we're going to use a symbol here to indicate to Ruby that our variable instance method is to be used as an attribute accessor. And what this does is add, adder accessor actually is running code inside of our class. And the code that it runs creates a getter named variable because we passed it variable. And it creates a setter named variable equals with one parameter that do, and those two behave exactly like above. So with this one line of code right here, we are able to create a getter and a setter for our variable. So let's see that in play. Let's create our succinct. We will pass it <coughs> excuse me, some value. We will put that value out. We will set it to some new value and we will print out the new value. Write it and when we run it we see our verbose right here, our succinct has the same behavior. We see its initial value is 9 and its updated value is 3. And so most of the time we don't have to write getters and setters in Ruby because we can use this adder accessor as well. It turns out that there are two other helper methods. There is one if for whatever reason you only want to have an attribute that's read only but not write only. You do adder ex reader and that will only define your uh, your getter it will not define your accessor so if we try to uh, set this up so we make our equals reader go ahead set that to some value we can put as r dot variable right here. Let's go ahead and run that and we get the zero. But when we try to do r dot variable equals something, I don't know, let's set it to, to one and try to run that, we get an undefined method variable equals because we didn't define the setter. We only defined our, our getter and so that is not a legal method. So let's comment that out. And just like there's a read-only method, you can also do a, a write-only method. Let's go ahead and shorten this up a little bit uh, by making this a write-only method. So now we can do something like create a value here and <coughs> excuse me we can go ahead and set it to 4 and we can run that we're good we can set it to something else and that will work still but if we prior to that try to display our output then we will get in trouble because we did not create a getter for that class undefined method variable we're trying to run this method variable on this w object here and so 
we can we can see that we have all three of those in in place for us now the adder accessor is going to be the most common way that we access uh, right getters and setters but if you have something custom where you want to uh, write a special getter or a special setter maybe using adder reader or adder writer will help you write the other code for you that that isn't customized but in general that is how we are going to be able to access our variables from our objects in Ruby <coughs>